State Immunization Officer Dr. D. H. Nandakishore says government targets to vaccinate 95% of state health workers against coronavirus coming January. Manipur reports 240 new COVID-19 confirmed cases and 6 deaths in last 24 hours. Death toll reaches 230. India reports over 44,000 new COVID-19 cases in last 24 hours, pushing tally over 87 lakhs. Recovery rate nearing 93%. JSCC members agitate, pressing various demands including new Vice-Chancellor of Manipur University. Bengali Muslims and Hindus of Ziribam negate UPF's recent viral press release claiming they support demand for Naga's Territorial Council. And the Directorate of Handlooms and Textiles kicks off 14-day state-level Handloom Expo at Urban Hub in Nilakuti. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin. I'm Joyce Rusham. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your mask properly and maintain a safe distance. Now the top stories and latest news at this hour. Health workers of Manipur will likely get vaccinated against coronavirus coming January. State Immunization Officer Dr. T. H. Nandakishore today declared that 95% of the state government and private sector health workers will be vaccinated against coronavirus for the first phase in January 2021. He disclosed the same during the weekly Manipur COVID-19 update meet organized by Directorate of Health Services and National Health Mission Manipur. The meeting was held at the Directorate of Health Services in Lumfield Park. Dr. T. H. Nandakishore said the center is targeting to carry out mass vaccination against coronavirus in the nation starting January. The state immunization officer said 126 cold chain points are kept ready for successful vaccination drive. All India go in January. Say, Adam Hognabaki, Loin, State Lonum, Loin, prepare Loin Tonaria, do Akogi, so I know Sahaji, the Tripurana Kardi Heli, ninety eight percent. Asamdi Yamakabu Yamli, Adaga Akogi, ninety five in government facilities and ninety in private facilities, lower revenue. Ada Akogi, so district district, the Akogi, Dicina, Nodel Officer, CMO, DIO, Ademuya Data Manager, Mayamra, Baking Toruga, Tokti Nepoko. Ada Masiki Baxin, see. Portal the Pazana upload to Dini. A quick call chain points, it's some of the Kundrupe, the quick state. Some of Kundrupe, a quick ah, Atapa knew some time only. Send one lace of such or some cookie. A tomato Atapa may answer the quicky electronic vaccines, intelligence network program in Makada Quina. Temperature said monitor on a logger, my boy happy. Masi loggers in the cloud with the internet service study. Cloud with the information from Piraka Dinema. Temperature said maintain the width of the going country. Other than Moi Makada vaccines is stored or Wakanda. Vaccines is Hagata. Speaking on the occasion, Health Department Principal Secretary V. Vumlun Mang announced target testing in those assembly constituencies where by elections were held recently. Zero surveillance teams will begin target testing from November 30 till December 19 in two hill districts and two valley districts. He added that zero surveillance will be carried out in valley districts with highest and lowest positive cases of COVID-19. 78 households from four hotspots and four 
non hotspots in urban area will be covered while in rural area five hotspot villages and five non hotspot villages will be covered in the hill districts altogether 70 households from one covid-19 hotspot and one non covid-19 hotspot in urban area and six hotspot villages and six non hotspot villages in rural area will be covered he said a drawing of blood sample is not required for zero zero testing and a result will be available within 15 to 20 minutes data from the survey will be considered in reviewing government's ongoing policy program to combat covid-19 pandemic in the state Targeted COVID testing is recommended by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. So we will also take up targeting, targeted testing and our first focus will be the areas covered by the recent assembly elections. The deputy commissioners have been informed, the chief medical officers are aware and very shortly we will take up targeted testing in the areas covered by the assembly elections. In fact, election related, we have already tested the policemen who had gone out of the state for election duties. As soon as they came back, along with police department, we have made arrangements and 667 policemen who returned from outside the state have been tested. We have discussed about zero surveillance last week also. I am happy to announce that we will start from 30th of November in two valley districts and two hill districts. Taking part in the meeting, Health Director Dr. Rajo appeals to strictly abide by COVID-19 SOPs issued by the government and health experts during Ningol Chakoba celebrations. He also urged those people in containment zones and those suffering even mild symptoms of COVID-19 to refrain from taking part in the festival. Hendak si Diwali, amadi, kau ini ni gua cakap pun festival lah, pasti dia dah mi pun bagi, kudung sahaja bawa malak ada bawa. Masih na, aina, yang best spinning bersih, kau latest, kau gigi bawa SOP si, masih fajar na implement tau bawa kau COVID appropriate behaviour si, fajar na kau ini local COVID awareness, kau enforcement committee si, fajar na kau ini siapa hore, masih kau ini assembly segment COVID awareness committee na siapa ni, masih na hunggang deh lebi bawa periferi deh lebi bawa, dukan sing, pan dukan sing, ti shop sing, lebi bawa bender lebi bawa. Kami ambil, fajar nak kau ini monitor tau gani, tau susu tau bahu re. Ya kau ini mi pun dapat dia roy, sakau bagi susu. Ya kau ini yang limited wena, yang limited wena tau biba. Kau ini mungkin tam tau biba. Kau ini mi ga yang yang nak dulu nak tau biba. Ya kau ini containment zone dah lepas missing, topi rata biba. Aduk masan nari nak kanga gadi, masih bayam dia yau biru masan isolate org lebi biba. Now we have Manipur's COVID-19 update. The state reported 214 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 and six deaths in the last 24 hours. As per State Health Department and COVID-19 Common Control Room press release at 5 p.m. today, Manipur's total confirmed COVID-19 cases have reached 21,425, out of which 3,068 are active cases. In the last 24 hours, six coronavirus-infected patients, two each from Bishnupur and Chandel, and one each from Imphal West District and Kakching have passed away. With this, that toll has reached 213. On the positive note, 255 people were discharged in the past 24 hours and recovered cases have reached 18,144. State's recovery rate stands at 84.68%. Out of the newly infected persons, 211 are from the general population and three are personnel of Central Armed Police Force. All the infected persons from the general population are locals without any significant travel history. The newly infected persons are being shifted to COVID care facilities and necessary measures are underway. It may be noted that Manipur has the second highest active cases of COVID-19 in the entire Northeast states. COVID-19 positive 65-year-old Naurem Ibomcha from Kakching Wairi Sanapati Lekai passed away on November 8 at Jeevan Hospital in Kakching. However, his death uh, report has not been included till today in the daily updates issued by COVID-19 Common Control Room. Press release from Sena Youth Trust SYT Kakching condemns the negligence of the authorities concerned amid the Discontents felt by the locals for delay in declaring COVID-19 high-risk zones in Kakching as containment zones. 
India's COVID-19 tally has reached 87.28 lakhs with 44,879 new cases reported in the last 24 hours. While the number of people who have recovered from the disease are 81 lakhs 15,580, pushing the country's recovery rates to 92.97 percent. As per the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, that toll has reached 1,28,668 and active COVID-19 cases have come down to 4,84,547. Maharashtra is still on top with above 85,000 active cases, closely followed by Kerala with nearly 78,000 active cases. According to Indian Council of Medical Research, more than 11,39,000 tests were conducted during the last 24 hours. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 5 crore 32,31,000 people. Above 1 crore 3 lakh people have died and recoveries are above 3 crore 73,11,000. USA is on top with more than 38,97,000 active cases of COVID-19, followed by India and Brazil. While China, from where the pandemic started, is at the 60th position with just 394 active cases of COVID-19. City today witnessed heavy traffic jam as shoppers swarmed Pauna and Thangal markets in the wake of upcoming Ningol Chakoba and Diwali festivals. It may be mentioned that the state government has closed the three Ima markets of Kwaramban market owing to the prevailing COVID-19 pandemic situation since March this year. Impact news came across many shoppers at Pauna and Thangal markets and various shopping malls today. Many of them evidently failed to maintain social distancing norms. Commuters faced various inconveniences due to heavy traffic jam in important routes of the Imphal city. Although traffic control police were stationed on most roads to ensure smooth flow of traffic, huge traffic jams were witnessed in most of the routes. Impact news also came across people parking their vehicles inappropriately. D.C. Thaubal District today organized a district-level review meeting on COVID-19 situation in the district today. Kangabong MLA or Sujay Kumar, Education Commissioner, come Thaubal District COVID-19 Nodal Officer T. Ranjit took part in the meeting held at the Conference Hall of Thaubal D.C. Complex. They discussed about safety measures to be taken against COVID-19, especially in view of the upcoming Diwali and Ningol Chakoba festivals. Irate members of Joint Students Coordination Committee, JSCC, seals the administrate, uh, administration blog and registrar's office of Manipur University this afternoon. Later, the sealed logs were broke open with the intervention of Manipur University's Vice Chancellor, Jarnail Singh. Upon hearing the information, irate JSCC members came to seal the blog once again, following which intense scuffles occurred between the members and Home Guards personnel. Later, police team led by Infal West SP Megha Chandra, additional SP Line Operation TH Shankar Deva, Singjamai Police Station SDPO TH Lakshmi and Singjamai OC Sanjoy rushed to the sport to contain the situation. Police uh, has arrested two JCC members, including its convener. Speaking to media earlier, the JCC convener demanded to refund the examination and admission fees collected from the students at the earlier, citing that there were collected inappropriately. He condemned the administrator of the university for remaining in office even after his tenure has ended with the resumption of normalcy in the university. He also demanded implementation of Manipur University Act 2005 considering the loopholes in the administration and norms of Manipur University and to remove the existing reservation system.
ไม่รู้สิ่งนั้นตาลีบดีมันสิอาทูบอาทูบอาทูบอาทูบอาทูบอาทูบอาทูบอาทูบอาทูบอาทูบอาทูบอาทูบอาทูบอาทูบอาท
Private financial institutions and groups can now resume financial activities like round money, debt collection, loaning activities in Nambol area. It may be mentioned that Development and Protection United Voluntary Organization and Nambol Apunba Nupi Loop had imposed ban on the same activities since April this year in the wake of economic plights brought on by COVID-19 pandemic induced lockdown in the state. Development and Protection United Voluntary Organization working president Konzam Suleshwar announced the revocation of the ban during a press meet held at the organization's office today. He also appeals to the public to abide by COVID-19 SOPs at all times and join hands in fighting the pandemic. General Secretary of Nambol Apunba Nupi Loop L. Premila Lema, Assistant Secretary A. Samina Lema, Vice President M. Shanti Lema and DPUVO Nambol members were present at the press meet. It's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on the 14-day state-level Handlooms Expo. Keep watching Impact News. Ningul Sako ba amadi Diwali kumhay ka mari lay na na Rams of Mega Marta Mega Offer Pizzeri Lupalis singa magi matagi pot lay biba matamda cha da mga gi kudong chava fangi gani Lupalak amagi matagi pot lay biba matamda cha da tarit kudong chava fangi gani Items singi Men's and Ladies Fashion Kitchenware Household Item Family Restaurant Jewelry Items Online Shopping su atu biba matamda hangjer gani ngasi maglang singbiro Rams of Mega Mart Porompa Jennings Opposite Ayang Paliro. Pemba Natun, Pemba Natun, Nimo Chakuk with the book to be Yari, Kumshi Shahiki Oliti, Covid nineteen Awaman and Halabamian with the Maki in Jeraga, Pemba Kaji the Lupachanga and Kate, Natuna, Kaji the Lupachanga, John Jagani, Pampa, S. Tomba, and Sons, Pemba Farm, Kiantam. Panthoi B Group Presence, Panthoi B Housing Finance Company Limited, regulated by RBI, has completed its 15 years of service, having 13 branches including Guwahati. Provides subsidized home loan under PMAY CLSS Housing for All by 2022 mission. Panthoi B Microfin, Deals and Microfinance, Panthoi B Needy Limited, provides loans against fixed deposit and properties. Panthoi B Construction, booking is going on for flats, villas, row house. For more details, kindly contact Panthoi B Housing Finance Company Limited and its subsidiary group of companies. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin. 14-day state-level handlooms expo began at Urban Hut in Nilakuti today. A Directorate of Handlooms and Textiles, Government of Manipur, organized the expo under Development Commission for Handlooms, Ministry of Textiles, Government of India. Gracing the event as the chief guest, Joint Director of Handlooms and Textiles, EGTN said, efforts will be made to hold the expo every year at the same venue. He also assured that efforts will be made to open market platforms at the heart throughout the year to promote local handloom and handicraft items. EGTN said that the government is coming up with a new policy to sell products purchased from local weavers and artisans by the department. He said local products will also be made available in Manipur emporiums in Delhi and Kolkata. Mesti dikehendaki oleh bahawa Malaysia, si luar kita, amuk matang anada 10 or 15 days or 14 days, matang matang lumi ni 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 hong ni ni luang dia kau kumpul sama kan dah koy. Lebih pelik tu nasi hijau pun Malaysia, kau macam pangkau kani, atau nama ramu orang kau, mak ayah lengan biru buih bersing, artisan, kudeng bangga. Tekstil Ministry, amat disertai government ki. Support kalau ni nak hari baru sih mampu menilai putih lagi bapak ini arwah nace, maya pun amak na masa, kalau kita marketplace kat tengah tengah, kalau mampu hendak kerap kita port lagi bham, agak na pun mampu aman ni hari betul, masih dah jual sih hari betul kan tu sih maya pun waktu thambiro, atau kalau port kita mampu hendak na tak kau bawa ke mari lelai na hendak lah hari kita bapak ini dulu sih maya jaga kita maya kita bapak ini kita tahu pergi, originally Profit margin kerap hangat di, ya ada dah hari na hari bawa kan jadi thambiro kan dah port jual bersih, pasal ni jual biro. Members of United Progressive Adults Association felicitated students of Kiamgai area who secured positions in the first divisions in Class 10 and 12 examinations 2020 conducted by BOSEM and COSEM today. Altogether, 39 students including three position holders and those who secured first divisions were felicitated at the event. Principal of Imphal Public School Ashim Kennedy, who achieved the prestigious Global Teacher 
Role Model Award on World Teachers Day 2020 was also felicitated on the occasion. Speaking at the event, Kairao Emily Larimbam Rameshwar claimed that the education, sports and health sectors of Kairao constituency have progressed immensely in the constituency since he became the local MLA, stating that the constituency's Punan Maring High School has been upgraded with a total cost of around 1.5 crore rupees. MLA Rameshwar is short of constructing a 100-bedded women's hostel of Urop High School and to upgrade it into a higher secondary school in the near future. The MLA disclosed that all arrangements are set to inaugurate the new 50-bedded Ayush Hospital. He also mentioned that construction of the homeopathic college in Kairau Kuman is 70% completed. MLA Rameshwar also said that construction of a factory to extract medicines from medicinal plants is 60% completed and also disclosed that the central and state government have earmarked funds for the construction of a district hospital of Imphal East district in the Kairau constituency. Tongan tongan mas hamagrabi skin makhari chum class mein pula kanda puru high school je maro ina koi Muslim sinau jiam tamba high school se ma koi high school ko ano ka hone jari chhada chhu usko matik masin yam khale. Kudhe health sector jadi Imphal skin mat tangai reba fifty bedet ayus ki hospital koi sangha na bogi stage tangai reba lere. Si jata na homey bati college koi Kairau khunau khari bhi jagasi da. Sabu only seventy percent on progress when the latest hare, quite testing level and level to eat the test on the buggy, other macro, Nila Kutam, so much of quite Saba or Manipurus Hava in the plan, Mayangi, medicine factories, you must have quite only Saba, sixty percent, a quite test later. In Palace came at Nairva, the Mudisu of Salamus, which Hanabi, Gamena, all of the by Pro Roma, Han of Senior Akamatunda, Minister Gitch, seventy three Pro Roma. कोई थावी रख लाई तो मतलब नहर पे शासी उन्हें सही जा रखने के लिए सी और के दी कोई छोटा बक्का रख के लिए से कोई हेल्थ सेक्टर डा एजुकेशन डा नतन स्पोर्ट्स लाइन डा तो मां मांगजिल थावा लंदन मामा वो ना फनरी खेलो इंडिया की मखादा क्रो निकल लांग निपान कोई और संचन तरोग ले रहे इधर नतन Mahi called the first ever education-based mobile application of the state today, provided scholarships to two students of SI school, Parampat and CC Higher Secondary School. Speaking on the sidelines, Managing Director of Mahi Call, A. Priyo Bharta, said that the scholarship would be provided to class 10 toppers of every school and destitute students in the near future. He is short of providing scholarship to students from various schools across the state in the near future. He declared that those students who have uh, received the scholarship can attend free online classes via Mahikol app. Mani putih lagi riba gaman di sekolah musung private sekolah puna makta aku ena scholarship pisa bani. Hari riba scholarship di sekolah amada angang ani ini hari budi kuai dekik larik bithoi mian oiva meritus award amma hari tarah. Class ten kiko aduga amana class ten kari bangang singda kuai dekik swatha ragal iba like thawai mian bangang adu da aku ena scholarship di pisa bani. Se hari riba scholarship tayar urusik kari kari no hari tarah kadi online class the free of course oi duri bani magi course subject teru mak loine mak enroll tau bayau ya agani. Ada sana video lectures piri question answer study material suggested questions me answer Saya ampiri, lelai lelai live class itu, mana angkasa nak kandung kuota pada hang puna mak tu aku na hari fikir sih pizza bni. Council of Higher Secondary Education Manipur Kosem has extended the last date of online submission of enrollment and registration of class 11 and 12 along with completed application forms, enrollment printout copies and other necessary documents. Last date for online submission is on November 27 and last date for submission of forms and statement to the council is till 2 p.m. of November 28. Deputy Speaker of Manipur Legislative Assembly, Mayang Imphal MLA, Kongkam Robindro, today distributed four-month all-age pensions to 306 beneficiaries above 60 years of age in Mayang Imphal constituency. The event was held at his residence in Mayang Imphal, Thana Wanglekai. The all-age pensions were distributed from his MLA salary. Al Zirba Muslim Socio-Economic and Cultural Development Organization has demanded removal of Zirbam District Fair Price 
shop number 19 dealer RK Nandita. Speaking to media at Zirbam's Kashimpur Bazaar today, Acting General Secretary of the organization Abdul Rof Laskar accused RK Nandita of collecting excessive money from beneficiaries on the pretext of Aadhaar linkage for getting Russian. He also condemned that RK Nandita slapped a person during the meeting held against her misconduct yesterday. Fair price shop number 19 dealer Nandita Kumbi sub deputy collector office still remains abandoned. Ex-Minister Ningtaoja Mangi today inspected the condition of the abandoned office. Speaking on the sidelines, Ningtaoja Mangi said the office was inaugurated during his tenure as Kumbi MLA and it was uh, running very well. However, during the tenure of his successor, the office got attached with Moirang SDO office, highlighting the plights facing people of Kumbi with the attachment of the office with Moirang SDO office. The ex-minister appeals to Chief Minister Nongtong Mambirin to look into the matter. He reminded that the Manipur Secretariat Revenue Department had issued an order on October 19 instructing Deputy Commissioner of Bishnupur District to give a detailed report on the same within November 2. Thawal DCN Bandana today flagged off two vans to reach out Nasha Mukta Bharat campaign 2020-21 under the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment in every nook and corners of Thawal district. Speaking on the occasion, DC Bandana said the campaign aims to free Thawal district, the state and the entire country from intoxicants abuse. She appealed for public support for the same. District Social Welfare Officer Thawal A. Kameshwar was uh, also present on the occasion. Kakching District Police apprehended three drug peddlers, including one woman in possession of three kg of Waldis Yo's WY tablets illegally transported from Moray today. The arrested persons are 23-year-old Honne Chong Baiti, wife of Thang Kholal Baiti from Molnoy village in Tengnopal District, 25-year-old M. Lamkhon Nai Haukip, son of Ngam Kojang Haukip, and 22-year-old James Ngaminsat, son of Robert Saikongam, both from H. Kotlin 5 village. Acting on a tip of the team led by Kakching District Commando OC Inspector MD Abash Khan, under the overall supervision of Kakching District SP Victoria Yankom, arrested them during a frisking operation at Palil Laimanai, Jingjin area at around 10 a.m. The arrested persons, along with the seized uh, contraband, have been handed over to the relevant police stations for necessary actions. Empty drug sale Tronglaubi KG Moirang Kendra Apunba Loop and all Moirang COVID-19 Volunteers Committee have demanded clarification from those artists concerned to clarify its strong condemnation against the Moirang Police OC over his misinterpreted uh, remarks during an anti drug awareness drive held on November 7 at Tronglaubi in Bishopur district. It may be mentioned that the artist concerned held a press meet and condemned the OC even after his public clear verification about his statement on local dailies. All Manipur Youth Protection Committee sends Ningol Chakoba greetings to people of the state, especially to women folk. Press release from the committee urges shops not to hike prices of commodities. My Park Ningtao Committee Manipur extends heartiest greetings to people of the state on the auspicious occasion of Ningol Chakoba, which is one of the biggest festivals of the Maite community. Video released from the committee's co-convener SK Vajit Sa 
wish that the festival strengthens cordial ties among communities in the state. He also appeals to follow COVID-19 related SOPs whilst celebrating the festival. President of Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee, MPCC, Marangtem Okendro greets people of Manipur, especially the Hindu brethren, on the auspicious occasion of Deepavali. He wished that the festival ushers in peace, progress and prosperity in the state. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee also greets people of the state on the occasion of the upcoming 131st birth anniversary of former Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, which is also celebrated as Children's Day in the country. A border security force sub-inspector was killed while a javan injured today in ceasefire violation by Pakistani troops along the line of control in Jammu and Kashmir as Pakistani troops violated the ceasefire along the line of control in Kamal Kote sector of Jammu and Kashmir. According to officials, the Pakistani troops fired mortars and other weapons. Apart from the Kamal Kote sector of Uri, ceasefire violations were reported from two other places, Ismang, Ismark in Gure's sector of Bandipura district and Keran sector of Kupwara district. A defense spokesman also said that the army fought an infiltration bid which was aided by the ceasefire violation along the LOC in the Keran sector. Suspicious movement was observed by the Indian troops at the forward post along the LOC in Keran sector in North Kashmir's Kubwara district today. Srinagar-based defense spokesperson Colonel Rajesh Kalia said suspected infiltration bit was foiled by alert troops. This was the second infiltration attempt within one week. Now news from the world of sports. Manipur Olympic Association has felicitated eminent sports officials Kiran Kumar Thangjam and Ganendo Ningombam. The felicitation program was held at MOA Conference Hall yesterday. Much to the delight of the people of Manipur, President of Manipur Amateur Karate Do Association Hansi Kiran Kumar Thangjam was appointed as Senior Vice President of Karate Association of India on October 26, while former Manipur Hockey Chief Executive Officer Gyanendo Ningombam was appointed as President of Hockey India on November 6. Thongju Kendra Tengbang Loop TKTL also felicitated new President of Hockey India Gyanendra Ningombam. Chief Patron of Thongju Kendra Tengbang Loop Seram Niken, President P. Bandhan and other officials were present in felicitating Gyanendra Ningombam at his residence in Kongman Zone 1 today. They presented him a traditional shawl and memento as congratulatory gifts. Volleyball Federation of India has inducted new office bearers for 2020 till 2024 term. Madras High Court yesterday lifted a ban on the Federation's March 12 election for new members. Achuta Samanta is the Federation's new president, Anil Chaudhary is the new general secretary and Sunil Kumar Tiwari is the new treasurer. General Secretary of All Manipur Volleyball Association, Longjam Baleshwar is also among the newly inducted office bearers. All arrangements are in place for the semi-final matches of the ongoing 5th Sofia Open Tennis Tournament 2020. Bulgaria is hosting the tournament as a part of the ATP World Tour 2050, I beg your pardon, 250 series. In men's singles quarterfinal matches played at the endorsed hard court of Sofia Arena, Canada's V. Pospisil has defeated Australia's J. Millman 6-2-6-2. Italy's Jay Sinner has defeated Australia's Alex Minor 6737-6461. A Manarino of France has dropped R. Albert of Moldova 621663. And R. Gasquet of France has defeated Italy's S. Caruso 767475 to enter the semi finals. Altogether, 32 male tennis players are competing in the tournament. Canada's V. Popsy Pill will face our Gasquet of France in the first semi final match, while Italy's J. Sinner will play against A. Manarino of France in the second semi final match of the tournament tonight.
Now before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. State Immunization Officer Dr. T.H. Nandakishore says government targets to vaccinate 95% of state health workers against coronavirus coming January. Manipur reports 240 new COVID-19 confirmed cases and 6 deaths in the last 24 hours. Death toll reaches 213. India reports over 44,000 new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours, pushing tally over 87 lakhs. Recovery rate nearing 93%. JSCC members agitate pressing various demands including new Vice-Chancellor of Manipur University. Bengali Muslims and Hindus of Zirbam negate UPF's recent viral press release claiming that they support demand for Naga's Territorial Council. And the Directorate of Handlooms and Textiles kicks off 14-day state-level handlooms expo at Urban Heart in Nilakuti. That's all we have in this bulletin. Thank you for being with us. Coming up next is Primetime Manipuri Bulletin. For more news, you can also follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Have a great evening and stay safe. Government of Manipur Directorate of Maho Department notification.